before we jump in, uh, let's roll back tapes and um, listen to what I said when the price pool suggestion came up. And um, as you know that I do not predict any future or anything because I'm a stat-based guy. Um, I literally do not predict the future because it's purposeless to predict future because I'm not an astrologer or anything. But let's watch this, come back after this. Change scene, go to. Just piece of rear. This model is absolutely absurd non-rewarding model and i've known i know this for a fact that you have done the math and you know that this is going to go skyrocket now if this vis skyrockets to five cents which me and you we are going to have a conversation um you know like in the coming uh, coming two weeks or so i'm not going anywhere you have won you have done your job but if this does not go up to two cents or three cents or one cent at least, that means this project has failed again. Not the whole project, I mean the update has failed again. Obviously I have very good vision for you guys and I know what sort of uh, model you guys are trying to promote. Um, you're trying to promote uh, your core RNG model which is your original RNG model. Um, and you're trying to promote that original RNG model that has been there with you guys forever. And I know that you guys have listened to the community by stats and everything. You guys did an amazing job in breeding. But please try to consider this. Um, I do not want you guys to give me a shout out or anything. That is not my motive. I make $2 for this from this YouTube video. And I make a couple of dollars here and there from like something else by putting my stuff on. So my main goal is to please save these callers. Please save these people, those who are owners of Pacers. Please be sensible about it. Clever, yet sensible about it. And think, there's always a solution. I am just a mere person, or I'm just a mere common person that came up with this idea that remove that third. By removing third, 20, 25 percenters are going to go down to like, go down to like 17, 18 percenters, right? But when they start losing that money, that will give them the chance to go to rare. So think about it. This is a very interesting model. This model is gonna help you out in the future and instill confidence, bring confidence on these new investors. My mic was off, but um, yeah. As much as I want to say, want to, do not want to claim victory, um, where a common man like me can identify the problem, can identify that this problem was intentionally made because it is absurd that um, you holding all the data, you tracking all the data. It is totally absurd that you do not know about it. Okay. Um, last few days, um, when going through the AMA, listening to what um, you know the owner has to say and the team has to talk about, um, they were talking about. Um, you know, stuff that, um, you know, that they are working hard and, and props, I've seen them working hard. You know, they are doing small changes here and there. They're making things, um, they're trying to make things better. But um, you have to understand when you do so many random changes in one month, all it took you guys was one month to kill this, kill everything in this game. So the question is, why did they do this, right? So why did they suddenly change everything? Why did they want to consolidate, you know, make it smaller, make it smaller, make it smaller? Uh, all these updates, you know, you saw that they were, there's two perspective of this. The first perspective, um, let's go to desktop live scene. In first perspective, um, when you look on through these updates uh, one by one, let's go to announcements. 
um there is a lot of announcements <laughs> so many things happened in a week they tried to balance everything but you know till everything this was fine they were having fun we were doing good people were having fun the team was moving around you know verifications and all of that all that stuff was good um so motivation stuff uh, i just wanted to take to that updates section which i think i should have done it myself but i didn't have the time or you know like the initiative you know to do that uh things started literally you know going down with the valentine's day event and uh, the overwhelming response that this team had um in the beginning or the early days when this literally skyrocketed in those days and let's go back uh to ytd this phase when people were you know like um joining in the game and they knew that this is a new game you know a lot of people joined at this time right now a lot of you guys got hyped up and got caught up in this stage this is the this is the stage when we saw a downfall like literally going from this and this slope to 0.009 i was not making pegxy content at that time i was literally not making pegxy content cashed out a little bit invested a little bit um you know fuse uh, not fuse was not there bred a little bit um but never did i take out anything you know it's at that time what i was doing what a lot of you were doing was expanding because you were new into the game it's been only a month who would think that something like this will happen um but every update uh basically we forgot to check uh as a matter of fact a lot of uh influencers it was the job of our content creators uh to show you what was going on and to give you a clear picture rather than creating hype and a lot of content creators did that they hyped over hyped this situation i am not one of those content creators that's going to hype up everything um uh, i was focused on this game doing stat based stuff right and it's a simple analogy it's a simple fact um i have seen better suggestions from my community to the team than anybody else and we are going to talk about that suggestion later on so we all know what happened i'm not going to run you through all this because it's just uh, adding salt to the wound you know like i'm not going to go through all this but this overwhelming response they could not handle it that's what happened uh it was too overwhelming for them um and things happened so fast so fast it happened that it is impossible for them to even think about um how to how to change any scenario you know how to change everything and consolidate everything so they went after exclusiveness um their now motto was to see who is loyal who are the rich guys or who are the guys with maximum wallet capacity who are the guys that can stand with them you know and put more money into the project and that is the reason their last last and the final most update was um was the last update which is aris um aris was their last update so let's go to my i've got pegxy discussion out here and they announced aris right aris launch by true listing this was their last update so this is their last step with the help of gil listing was that gils need to put more money they have cashed out a lot of money um i think it's time for them to reinvest pretty solid right i mean i agree to that um you know like they need to reinvest but think about this why would a guild reinvest what are the perks for them to run after these points what perks are they getting data tracking nobody cares a guild person will not care that care for that why because they are investors they are not nerds like us sitting behind going through data and stuff like that for them they are going to put in 
put in hundred thousand dollars or they're gonna put in like 50k and they want that 50k within you know like the next payout or they want to expand that and make it for a future pay payout right so that was not a perk adding to liquidity pool for what even though this this would have helped a lot so the team had layout and the guilds were at a fix so you see this miscommunication that's happening between you know the team and you know f uh, our expectation from the team and you know then this whole mess that and that miscommunication starts from one thing one thing only you never break people's trust once you start breaking people's trust that trust cannot be brought back and that's exactly what happened uh, while we track this data that's exactly what happened when Pacers pool price pool was decreased people were still bullish with the uh, cooldown people were still bullish with uh, breeding but the moment Pacer uh, Pacer pool was decreased that's where thing went down because uh, people felt betrayed now what would have done is that they should have uh, you know an insider going in and explaining them that why are we doing this rather than just drop this update like overnight just drop it and the whole community goes to shock right it was a shocking phase for us three days literally there was no minting and if you look into this now and if we go to apollo.pegxc.io miss wind bur burn ratio watch this there is no burn let's go to stream watching uh there is no burn it's just mint and where is this mint coming out from people have moved to legendaries and these legendaries are making way way more a legendary potentially can make up to 15k vis of mint 15000 vis a day a legendary can make so that minting of epic legendary is going to make mint more high and there is no burn because nobody's breeding because breeding is not very successful so burn mechanics are gone minting is still going to be there because nobody's going to be you know like not mint it it's just you know there's nothing they can do and the people burn this and fuse this it's this this burn that you see are mostly came from fuse why because they knew that they no scholars in their right mind and they should not even you know in their right mind try to you know invest um, uh, try to invest their time to race for what to for 0 0.00 10 cents doesn't make sense right so now you understand the picture um, and that is the reason I'm talking about this picture so that you get a clear vision of what I was talking about just two weeks back and two weeks back I had already told you this was the biggest mistake that anybody can take by touching 90% of the players uh, pool but um, why are they consolidating this is the question this is a very big question i have no answer to this why are they consolidating um why are they you know making sure their player base goes down i know that they want reinvestment but reinvestment is not going to come from existing players you cannot be in a developed nation asking for reinvestment where people had already not got any returns from their investment right it's a developed nation you have to sorry developing nation I should not have said develop developing nation developing nation people go through a lot you have to understand this they don't have social security services they don't have like like you know like health care they probably have some sort of health care for free and but they have a lot of spending they have to do you know for them every penny matters and you promoted this whole thing I've been saying you get out of developing nations start promoting in developed nations 
where investors will not care about how much they have put in. You cannot be concentrated in a small uh, place. But then you have to think this also that the team has not even developed the game. The, de the game is only developed 10%. So is the team wrong? No, the team is not wrong. The team, the team is still doing their job. Their job is to develop the game. It is the person who decides in strategy. The, they do not have experience in strategical decision making. That's what they have to do. Been saying this, get a financial advisor, get an advisor part-time for your team. You don't even have to take him full-time. You would not be able to afford him. Get, a, get an advisor for, uh, for, for at least like part-time and things will be great again. Now, folks, uh, after 15 minutes of showing you what's going on, um, I have done enough of explanation, I think, so over the past few uh, weeks and months. Um, let me share you a small insight. The insight is this, that um, the train for your ROI has already left. So there is probably never going to be an ROI anymore. Honest, blatant truth. I'm going to put it up there. Okay, so um, how are you going to play remains on your hand. I have a strategy. I'm going to share you my strategy. Please do not follow my strategy. I am not going to, I'm not here to, you know, like tell you that do this, but this is the strategy. I consolidated my assets because I know that what they were trying to do um, made it eight. Why? Because no, none of my, uh, none of my scholars are in their sane mind is going to stay. Um, going forward is that this has no value. Uh, going forward, I want to convert everything into legendary. Why would I do that? Uh, the reason behind is that when this game enters into a phase of, uh, I'm talking about preparation, enters into a phase where there is probably no comeback and this is so low um, that this would not be able to support the project, the future of the project. So we have to start preparing for a scenario which we always are scared about. So this is my preparation for that scenario. Founding Pegas can be sold on OpenSea.io. You can buy Founding Pegas out there. Um, legendaries are going to be next. You cannot probably get uh, Founding. Um, those who wants to get out, please get out because after this it will be super late. And that's what why because you will see this uh, this drop that's happening. This was all big guilds uh, leaving. When big guilds live, like leave, there is like you guys, small investors will be crushed. Um, Pegaxi should go on, should go on. Um, it should be alive. Um, will it do a comeback? It can only do a comeback once everybody has cashed out whatever they're holding. And for 137 or 145,000 people to cash out, it's going to take another month or two for dip, 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 and dip until and unless new investors join in. But new investors, when they see that the tokens price fall so much, doubt. Uh, what you might see over the few days is huge whales dropping in chunk of money at the lowest then trying to ch take a chunk of money out. Basically, it is, it are, it's probably uh, one of those, those who does short trading and stuff like that. So hear me out. I'm in this project. Um, somebody has to turn off the lights. I'm going to be there to turn off the lights. Um, we are watching, going to watch this closely. Um, also, Going forward, those who are staying, it's better to not suffer any loss. Remember this, it's better. Uh, especially if you're from a developing nation, developed nations, guys have the balls to stay, so might as well just stay. Um, let's go to this. And um, as you will see on the side, 
I am actually in their content creator group. So I'm going to be in their content creator group, um, which is going to be right out here. Yeah, uh, which is going to be right out here. And um, yep, uh, me, Tekaton, we are all there um, in that group. And um, we will see where this thing goes and we'll report accordingly. But now it is all about reporting. Okay, so my suggestion to all of you guys out there is that um, if you have not a lot of lot to lose might as well watch to the end because you know like I might be saying that there is future is like probably null to zero to probably a closure but um, things can be wrong again I but as far as I know doing all these videos um, I usually do not predict all that stuff but it was logical to say that um, the future is dark it was very logical because all the updates were just on a different direction like you know it was not moving with the community it was as if all these updates were moving away from the community you just cannot be so dumb of not knowing it it was intentionally done but was the motive behind it I cannot read mine so I would not be able to tell you what is the motive behind it but uh, they, it is a sign they are trying to consolidate their player base. And after consolidation, what will be they do with it? And that is why I'm staying. I'm staying the end to this. But please, in a logical perspective, in a safe perspective, um, before this thing you know like plummets more as because every day more or less it plummets just do you take your decision sainfully um do not go run after greed there is no purpose of running after greed um want to cut loss cut loss you know as part of my community i do not know what are other influencers telling you i always take care of you guys and always give you proper info rather than you know, like uh, redirecting you to anything else. But for me, uh, I have, I have still believe in the team. I see them work, so I cannot say anything bad about that. Um, are the devs working, not working properly? No, they're working. Um, but the thing is that a lot of people has got more expectation, more hunger to cash out. That you cannot stop. So how can we solve this situation? The only way we can solve this in situation is by bringing in an advisor to understand their motive, relay the information or communicate that information with the people and make them understand why they're taking these steps. That's what it's all about. that's it guys our episode ends out here um our more content for pegaxi coming up i don't know um uh, might not be everyday content might be weekly content um but yes it's um i would say it a curtain fall edition to be honest uh because until and unless um we see something miraculous happen which is probably the chances of that is next to impossible um because you have to bring trust back bringing trust back is six times harder than breaking somebody's trust so that's what's happening a lot of misconception a lot of miscommunication um people were not looking people were looking into this vis and mint chart uh nobody was looking into the amount of locked vis that's there um and in liquidity pool we do have good amount of liquidity it was 488, now it's 543. So our liquidity pool has increased. As a matter of fact, our liquidity pool has increased. So it's not that, you know, not everybody's leaving. So there are good signs, but bad signs are more. That's what I meant to say. So it's upon you. I want to see the end of this. That's the reason I'm here. Um, and thank you for watching TechDo. See you guys on another episode. 
till then just stay sane don't go through this summertime sadness uh, that's what we call it out here it's called summertime sadness enjoy your life and uh, we will see you guys probably day after tomorrow or after three days basically whenever something comes up two projects that i'm looking at is um sandbox avogachi uh steppen and krabada these are the four projects that i'm looking into it do not know what's going to happen yet but i'm still looking into this four projects um also invested on guild saga so you can check that out if you guys want to follow twitter i usually post some ideas on twitter you can follow my twitter which is going to be right up here somewhere all right goodbye